Hello all, I am Charan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learning about Manhattan distance. Okay, so what is Manhattan distance? It is similar to Euclidean distance, but the formula slightly changes. So formula is here the distance between the two points x1 uh, minus x2 uh, is equals to summation of i from 1 to d dimension 1 to d uh, for all x1 i minus uh, x2 i right so here actually we are uh, summing uh, the both the distances from looking at this graph uh, in uh, in the Euclidean distance, what we done, we uh, taken the uh, distance and squared them, right? So, but here we will just adding the distance. Okay, this is the Manhattan distance. Okay, summing summing the distance, right? So th that is the main difference between Manhattan and Euclidean distance, and also this one is uh, most of the time. Uh, we write one here because this is a L1 norm. So L1 norm uh, of x1 minus x2. Okay. So suppose if a one point is located, means uh, another one is origin, then uh, x1, right? So x1 of for Manhattan distance is equal to summation of i from uh, 1 to d and uh, absolute value of x1 i. Right. So this is called absolute values. Absolute. Okay. Uh, yes, that's it. This is about uh, Manhattan distance. I hope you are able to understand. And if you want to know why this Manhattan distance come, it actually this uh, comes from New York. Uh, in New York, there is a city Manhattan. So they in New York, the cities or uh, roads are uh, divided into grid structure, right? So like this. And uh, if you are situated here, okay, consider if you are situated here, and if you want to travel to this location then uh, you have to travel through this first block second block and next uh, uh, you have to move to this block this block because diagonally you cannot travel because the here buildings are located right so actual Manhattan distance is same as like a distance um, you have to add uh, these are called blocks okay okay so you have to sum it up each and every block where you uh, travel right so uh, this is your uh, starting point this is your destination right so then you have to travel like this and add uh, your distance okay x right so this is about manhattan distance i hope you are able to understand what is manhattan distance and where we use manhattan distance you will be understanding in the upcoming videos okay thanks for watching have a nice day